I hear you. I I'm the governor of this state. It's my responsibility to make sure that uh, the rights of every Delawarean are protected. And it's my responsibility to make sure that the relationship between law enforcement and the people of our state gets better, is everything it can be, and is conscious of the, the ugly history uh, of our state and our country. Because without acknowledging that, you can't really hear or appreciate or understand the anger and frustration. And it's hard to go from that to taking action to address the underlying inequities that persist. And so I think my job, going back to uh, what I said earlier, is to listen first and then to act in conjunction with other leaders, uh, people of goodwill from across our state, uh, to make meaningful change. As my dad used to say, talk is cheap. Uh, and as I heard from the protesters we met with today, uh, earlier this week, talk is cheap. Uh, and they want to see change, they want to see action, that's what we, we expect to do. So with that, um, I just want to uh, ask all the folks that are involved in the protesters to, uh, to protest, to exercise your First uh, Amendment rights to free speech, but do it peacefully. Do it understanding that uh, ultimately at the end of the day, while it might not feel that way all the time, we, we are in this together. Again, those of us who serve in elected positions, it's, it's our responsibility. I happen to believe it's the responsibility of leaders right now to turn the temperature down. People say, well, why are you, why are you trying to stop protests? I'm not, I'm not trying to stop protests, I'm trying to avoid what can happen when protests get out of control. I'm trying to find a better way, a way that's more productive. And sometimes you have to, you have to go through an experience uh, that's painful to get to the other side. And it's been a painful week. And it's my wish and my prayer uh, that we continue on a peaceful path and that ultimately we work together because we're in this together. You know, I used to always say, I love the, the expression that former Governor Markell used to use, that we're a state of neighbors. Well, when your neighbor's hurting, you need to help him or her out. And we got neighbors who are hurting right now. And if we're people of goodwill, and we are, we'll help them out. Uh, and in doing so, as, as the Colonel said, this, it's a two-way street too. Everybody has to pull their own weight. Everybody has to respect e each other. And if we do all that, we'll be stronger and we'll be better as a state. 